10 at issue. Good morning, I'm Steve Highsmith. There is a belief that manufacturing is making a comeback in the United States, is it? What would it take to really get the comeback to pick up steam? And are those jobs really good paying ones? Mayor Michael Nutter in January of this year established the Mayor's Manufacturing Task Force. That task force is now prepared to deliver its findings this week on Thursday. Two of the co-chairs of the task force join me now. Philadelphia City Councilman Bobby Heenan of the 6th District in Northeast Philadelphia and Dan Fitzpatrick, President and CEO of Citizens Bank and RBS Citizens for Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Delaware, New York, and Ohio. He's also chair of the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce. Thank you both for being here. Thank you, Steve. Dan, let's begin with, with the task force after all these months. What's its snapshot? What's the current assessment of manufacturing? Sure. We, we believe there's great opportunities for growth of manufacturing in Philadelphia and the region. Uh, we have a lot of natural advantages here, our location. Uh, when you think about global competitiveness in manufacturing, the insourcing of manufacturing from Asia and Europe back to the U.S. is happening because trans transportation costs are a big component. So Philadelphia, right in the middle of this most populated section of the, of the United States, great transportation hub, whether it's maritime, rail, trucking, access, uh, creates a lot of advantages there, as well as the energy uh, phenomenon that's occurring in the United States. As we've quickly moved towards energy independence, we're now the largest energy producing country in the world, surpassing Russia this year. Huge opportunities for Philadelphia to play a major role in that, uh, in that evolution and that which benefits manufacturing. So location, transportation, and energy advantages. But, Councilman Heenan, when you look at the road network, you look at transportation, are there infrastructure issues that could hold this growth back? No, as, as a matter of fact, I think, and you'll see uh, in the findings that are report, I think the infrastructure uh, that the city and this region provides is nothing but an advantage for that growth and the opportunities. So you're not worried about crumbling bridges or clogged roads or arteries or? Well, of course we are worried about uh, crumbling bridges and, you know, the state successfully right. with cooperation and uh, partnership with the city of Philadelphia and, and its legislature, the governor signed a uh, transportation bill that's just going to um, infuse, you know, $25 million or $25 billion over the next 10 years into transportation and our infrastructure. Right. See, the, the transportation bill, that great bipartisan work with uh, the legislature, both sides of the aisle and the Pennsylvania legislature coming together with Governor Corbett to pass this $2.4 billion spending a year, hugely important to the commerce of the, of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and Philadelphia and also for the workers and mobility of our workers because public transit gets $500 million of that $2.4 billion spending What about year. the Port of Philadelphia? Is it deep enough, wide enough, clean enough, ready enough to take advantage? advantage of the new commerce that's going to be coming to the East Coast. If, if, if I could, I mean, yeah. I, I absolutely think that we are, uh, with the deepening uh, river project that's underway, that's been two years in, in the process, we're going to be ready for the uh, Panama Canal, the opening. Commerce is going to increase here in the city of Philadelphia, and I think we are ready as a, as a region on the East Coast and prepared us for commerce, increased commerce, transportation, and manufacturing. When we talk about manufacturing, though, Dan, are we talking about manufacturing of 1955, or is this a different model? No, it's a different model, Steve. Definitely automation had, continues to develop and has replaced many of the workers. So obviously in manufacturing across the country and in Philadelphia, probably a 15% of the workforce that you would have had in the 50s. However, still great opportunities for job creation. The other thing, too, is the jobs tend to pay more than average wages in the U.S. In Philadelphia, uh, average manufacturing wages are $58,000 plus full benefits versus an average wage of about 42000 in the city of Philadelphia. So these are good, sustaining jobs, and there are opportunities to create thousands of these new jobs just in the city of Philadelphia alone. But, Bobby, when you look at that description, then, do we have a workforce that is prepared that a company would want that worker to go to that job. Well, one of the advantages and, and opportunities, as you're going to see it is the, in the report, is is we certainly have the density of, of uh, a potential, uh, uh, you know, workforce, you know, and it, it, it's up to us, you know, to come together with a lot of partners with the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce, School District of Philadelphia, the City of Philadelphia, and its many partners to properly train and make sure that our workforce is ready for the technology, the creativity, and innovation of these uh, advanced manufacturers it is not and I can speak firsthand my father um, he, who he 
worked for several manufacturers and has since closed their doors. All right, and these are manufacturers' jobs that are in neighborhoods that employ local residents. But it, it is not your smoke smokestack manufacturing. It's, is the it's task force technology. going to comment at all or recommend the relationship that unions will have with the new type of manufacturing that's growing? Well, with the workforce uh, or the work that the task force has, has put together is, is, is simply going to show that, you know, the uh, average wages and package for uh, workers in, in manufacturing with the kind of creativity and innovation and advanced manufacturing really prepares um, a, a sustainable wage and living for, for families. And I think, you know, that is certainly in line with uh, the Philadelphia uh, unions, right? You know, they offer good benefits, good wages, and, and a sustaining career uh, to raise a family right here in the region. But right. a lot of these new companies are going to be starting up and only have 15 or 30 employees, is it going to be hard to organize those workers? Well, I, it, it's not a organizing effort. You know, this task force and, and manufacturing, the growth of that is, is to provide job opportunities. I, I think the Commonwealth, the state, the region, and uh, this task force, you know, wants to prepare for the opportunity for some of these sustainable jobs. Yeah. More with Bobby Heenan and Dan Fitzpatrick. We'll pick up on that in a moment. And the Made of in America sign for the future. Plus, an economic expert, labor expert as well, offers thoughts on rebuilding America on NBC 10 Edition Station. You're watching NBC 10 at issue.